Oh, I can't sleep. I've been lying here tossing and turning, but I just can't sleep. You know, I probably can't sleep because of what I did today. So hey, don't repeat my mistakes. I'm gonna give you five things you can do today, throughout the day, to improve your sleep. Hi, I'm Faith from Sleep Foundation. First, let's talk about sunshine. You might not think the sun is helpful for sleep, but our bodies are governed by an internal clock called our circadian rhythm, and that clock is triggered by the sun. So step outside, get the daylight on your face. Being exposed to the right amount of daylight can help normalize your circadian rhythm, which can lead to better sleep. Even opening windows and blinds can be enough to align your body to the natural rhythms of the earth. If you live in a place where daylight can be tough to come by, <clears throat> the Pacific Northwest, you can also use a light therapy box to overcome the lack of natural daylight. Next, be careful with naps. We are big fans of naps at Sleep Foundation, but dozing too long during the day can actually make it harder to fall asleep at night. Make sure to set an alarm and limit your nap time to no more than 30 minutes in length. Also, make sure you nap earlier in the day, preferably right at the halfway point between when you wake up and when you go to bed. Next, limit caffeine consumption to just the morning time. Caffeine has a 12 hour quarter life. So for example, if you have 200 milligrams of caffeine at noon, there will still be 50 milligrams in your body at midnight. In other words, it takes a while for your body to fully process and eliminate the effects of any caffeine you consume during the day. Therefore, in order to prevent caffeine from being a factor in your sleeplessness, we recommend cutting off all caffeine at least 12 hours before you plan on going to sleep. Of course, if caffeine is easy to reach for in the morning, it can also be easy to reach for something to slow you down in the evening. And hey, in moderation, these indulgences can be super fun and make you feel very sleepy. However, in excess, they can actually make your sleep worse. If you've been drinking, your body has to put in the work to metabolize the sugars and reduce your blood alcohol level, which means there is a less chance for deep, restorative sleep. So while drugs and alcohol may make it seem like you're falling asleep faster, they can disrupt your sleep during the night. Finally, one of the best things you can do to help your sleep is to wake up and fall asleep at the same time each day. Our bodies are creatures of habit and routine. And when we have consistent schedules of going to bed, we build the mental muscle memory and our bodies know when to start preparing for sleep. And if you've gotten enough sunlight during the day, that will also help this process of winding down in the evening. Remember, sleep is a holistic process that is the result of everything we do during the night and during the day. By making small adjustments to our behaviors throughout the day, we can set ourselves up to have a great night of sleep so we can be our best the next day. Thanks for watching. Sleep well, everyone.